Reden dat ik zes jaar onderzoek deed is gewoon omdat ik door vroegere vrienden keihard in de steek werd en wordt gelaten, terwijl mij het meest verschrikkelijk overkwam en nog steeds overkomt. Onafgebroken pogingen tot doodslag, smerig, stiekem, onderuit, vals en tegelijkertijd gemondsnoerd worden. De zieke dan zieke waarheid wist ik te achterhalen. Black nobility naar blijkt. Gay satanisten met een missie. Exit vrouwen, maximaal 500 miljoen van de 7,8 miljard van alle mensen mogen blijven leven. Choose your battles, verdomme. Babo bank, growing a better world together. Yep, zonder ons. Het grint op de bodem van die piramide, tegenover de Rabo in Maalwijk, representatief voor Rabo staatsaanpak, staat voor onze dood. Ons graf middels graf en oxide. Het ijzerwerk voor de Iron Man en slavernij. Wij terug tot steen. Alleen de top, de dichte punt, blijft. De bovenste binnen de tralies, vrijmetselaars, loges en ambtenaren maken de onderste kapot, voordat zij, net als de rest, eraan gaan. for this video I translated and explained in Dutch. Wednesday, the 12th of January 2022. They want me to die because I found out every single lie. Self-proclaimed first class terrorizes second class human race, violating all human rights. 
being pure disgrace. I am Trudy, the ex-wife of an Ashkenazim Zionist royal banker's son, at Splinter. His Highness himself wanted me just as being his slave. His father, Nick, facilitated him and forced him to do so for 26 years now. Me, I was conceived to be a mere woman. I ought to be only a nurse, a slave and a mascot, besides giving birth to our three children. In Holland, the city of Waalwijk, one can legally torture a name of black nobility. Being assisted by the Rabobank, the whole parliament, the court fixing Roman court, the city of Waalwijk in the former Silver Duchess estate in the south of the Netherlands. So the king, my ex, and especially his dad Nick, who was the CEO of the local Rabobank de Langstraat, and his Rosicrucian friends considering themselves first class citizens, affecting graduation most evil, example given Peter Konijnenburg, literally Peter Rabbit Hole, can easily let commit every single crime, violating all my human rights and steal everything from me, including my home and three children, on order. They stole my rights to life, withholding both civil and human rights. The court fixing Roman court in Breda and Sertogenbos follow all bankers' orders due to original Masonic blood brother nobility. In kinship with the Black Adler coat of arms in the city of Waalwijk, all concerning Brabant in the Holy Roman Empire estate. The city I lived in for 22 years, where I, besides being a mom, was a media professional at a radio station, a fancy restaurant entrepreneur, at the same time giving support to my ex-husband's business in VIP hospitality and exclusive cars. I set out all rally routes for old-timers, off-roads and supercars, roadist recruitment campaigns, screwist columns and promo mills, being a perfect hostess at his racing events, besides being a perfect mother. I also used to be a politician of the Dutch Labour Party, PVDA. Now I know almost all our politicians are liars, just like my ex, his father and their Masonic family, friends and relatives. Suddenly I was no longer allowed to stand up for women's and children's rights. They just expected me to accept, and I had to ex accept, I was tortured by the Dutch youth care mob. I did not. I fought for equal rights for everyone all my life. I cannot stand cruelty, nor creeps lying and cheating, disadvantaging people. And certainly not that they harmed my own three children. They forced me to leave politics, March 2018. Again, bankers' influences, businessmen and statesmen. By now, I know all being Freemasons in charge. Friends of Rabobank and my ex-father-in-law. Men on a mission to destabilize the country in order of new world order, leaving all women behind. Because they are after our children, claiming soul rights to life. Eliminating humanity, having played the clown all their lives, Satan worshippers. They robbed my home, including from my three children and even parental authority, through corruption and court fixing, by unimaginably lying, violence, continuous terror against me. They stole my income, my belongings, my pets. They frustrated opportunities to do business. They stole my personal things, my files and data. They frustrated my political future, my privacy by recording me, my relationship by threatening every, every single friend or relative through ruining them or threatening to do so. They made an already promised job impossible. To top it off, January 2019, they withheld one of my friends from already committed trade in Tilburg and Baldank and closed his business current account. One of my friends from my student days in Nijmegen, Daniel Frankenhuis, who wanted to help me, paying my lawyer, Yves Lasserood, after 23 lawsuits, not being able to fight for my rights to survive any longer. And 2019, Dutch nobility withheld former marine officer and friend Max van Lieshout from already promised tenders to the Dutch state, according Justice and the Rabobank. They, I know by now, Satanists just couldn't and won't stop bullying, harassing, robbing, committing perjury, crimes of office, multiple attempted manslaughter aside from the secret, subcontinuous homicides, 
by denying a mother from being together and any contact with her three children on the basis of organized banking state crime. Continuously paying off judges and lawyers and forcing them to disadvantage me. They just proceed court fixing. Besides drilling me out of my home on the 1st of February 2021, putting me in this freezing cold on the streets with no means to survive, afterwards robbing my household effects, they sent in Satan's clowns, controlled opposition. Now the number of these evil fascist assassins is 43 satanic idiots to mislead me, steal from me, take away all my life energy and to put me through hell even further. Since last October, my predators even deprived my mother of her self-determination. Again, the Rabobank, income and personal care, while I'm in notarial power of attorney. They just neglect every human right, every civil right, and also my mother's official advantage director. I know they want to kill us, both, and again, want to let me starve. All this abuse of power and criminality the worst I did not mention yet is under leadership of Zionists in the local Rotary and the Rabobank, the Dutch National Nazi Mafia, supported by Rosicrucians and Lower Freemasons. I was forced to take care of my three children on my own because of mental illness and extreme behavior of the father of my three children. About as committed 192 criminal offenses against my children and me. My reports were refused by the local mayor, head of the local police, no clan held, literally no money penny, who was in the same political movement, Partij van de Arbeid, BVDA, as me, the same tennis club, the Matikloppers. Furthermore, neighbors in the back, and he was and is fully aware on absurd corruption and human rights violations against me. March 24th, 2016. Child Protective Services forced me to raise my three children alone. Unpredictable extreme behavior of my ex-husband was mentioned as the reason. My ex-father-in-law and his Masonic friends, however, deem my motherhood and my human beings undesirable. If you divorce a king's son, you lose all rights to life. So they, the local coat of arms, managed another Nazi child. Rob my kids. Silke van Puyenbroek from the family who serves you most Dutch Nazi propaganda, DPG Media House. Papers, radio, digital media. Reason of my goal to defensively survive. I learned my children good over evil. Me, Trudy Verstegen, as being their mom, only taught them to be a good thrill. They won't ever become Nazi fascists. I didn't nor won't allow them to be narcissists. Neither will I ever expect and accept being a slave, either forced by kings, bankers, Jesuits. It's medieval. They are abused, spoiled rotten toddlers, misbehaving. They just have to quit sick games and behave. I fight for my children and my life, for all children. Love instead of war has to be their destiny. Trudy Verstegen, Mama vs. Mafia. P.S. Being separated from your children based on lies and court fixing by Nazis is the closest thing to hell one can imagine. Next to this, having to face former friends supporting gay Satanists, all busy on war crime, planning to kill us all, who just neglect your cry for help and just let you and your kids get trampled. At the same time being robbed from literally everything and all possibilities to stay alive, let alone able to be recovered. Besides the stress of the thought my kids follow complete idiots in vaccination crimes and their future in fascist satanic communism is harder than hell. I really lost my trust in people. If you do care about humanity and just like I do are ready to fight for our children's lives and freedom I'd like to speak to you or meet you. The only way to create future for our children is to stop the evil satanic spell. I did research during six years now and have a complete story to tell. And I'd like to do it well. Thank you.